let's add our own custom biome to Minecraft. All right, we find ourselves back in IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding a custom biome to Minecraft. And this is actually easier than you might expect. So in our world package, we're going to right click new package called a biome. And inside of there, we're going to create a new Java class called the mod biomes class. And we're also going to need a new class called the mod surface configs. And this is actually the class we're going to start with. I'm actually going to copy over the contents and then we'll explain what this all means. So what we have is we can see that we have this register method, which registers a configured surface builder. So a configured surface builder is basically what we're going to be making here. And what is that? Well, it's a surface builder that is configured and we actually need to register it with the registry.register built in registries configured surface builder and then give it the resource location, of course, of our tutorial mod, the name, and then just give it the surface builder parameter. And we're registering it right here. So we have the lava surface builder as the field here. And this is a configured surface builder of type surface builder base configuration. Long class names, what do they mean? Well, basically, we just want to build a surface with a particular configuration, that being the top layer right, is supposed to be magma, then titanium, and then the sandstone is supposed to be the underwater material. So if I go into this, sadly, you can actually see it here. So we have top material, under material, and underwater material, and those are just being set in these block states. That's the general gist here, and that's pretty much actually the mod surface configs done. Then we can move on to the mod biomes class, and I actually will copy this over as well. However, this is actually not too crazy. So number one, let's just focus on this. We have a deferred register of type biome. That should be not too crazy. We should understand this. We also have a registry object of type biome here called the lava land, which is equal to biomes that register lava land. And then we call the mod biomes dot create or, you know, colon, colon, create lava land method, the static method right here, where basically all of the magic happens. I will explain this in just a moment. We have the register method that we have to have when we have a deferred register. And of course, we will actually also call the thing here. So we're going to say mod biomes dot register with the event bus right here. So like this. And now everything is set up and it would already work. But let's first of all, take a look at the create lava land method here. So what are we doing? First of all, we're getting some mob spawn settings right here. And you can basically call this biome default features class, right? Biome default bar. Oh biome default features dot and you can see that there is a bunch of stuff that's like let's say default features that you might want to add to your biome so that's pretty cool that you can just sort of take these in right cave spawns cave water spawns so there's like a lot of stuff that you can add here and here we're basically making sure that both farm animals as well as monsters spawn here you can even assign different weights and if i actually go into this you can even see there's basically all of the different things that happen here right you can basically see we're adding different you know, creatures here were in this case monsters, we can even go up, you know, we can see seagrass, stuff like that. So it's really cool that we have the basically that available. We also can see that we're taking the surface builder lava surface builder. So we're using our custom surface builder. And we're also adding a feature here, namely the lakes. If I for example, wanted to add our own, you know, the the tree in here, I could say something like generation settings that add feature with the vegetal decoration and then say mod configured features that redwood and then you know use the decorated one so for the sake of argument what i'm just going to do is i'm just going to take the same decoration stuff from here just because that's a little easier uh, this also by the way is there's a good point in defining this here right in the mod configured features as well if you want to use something there multiple times that might be the case where this makes sense well, for the time being, we're just going to use it like this. And now we've basically added the Redwood generation to our custom biome as well. Here, basically, we're just sending a few things like the precipitation, right? It's making it rain. So instead of snow, there's also snow and none. So that's the general gist here. Then the depth and the scale is actually the hilliness and the height of the actual terrain. The temperature and downfall should be fairly self-explanatory. Special effects are the water color, water fog, fog color, and the sky color all fairly straightforward and then we're just going to build this and return all of this of course there's one more step right because we of course need to add the biome to the actual world we're going to do that in the mod biome generation class right here and and i'm just going to 
copy this over because this is actually not too crazy. So you can see that this is number one, just the add biome method here. So this basically adds the biome, well, to the biome manager, which then just has it as its entry. And we're here we're just basically passing in some general, well, things that we need to pass in. This now needs to be called in the tutorial mod class inside of the setup method. So right down here, mod biome generation, generate biomes. And with that, everything is set up. So let's go and see if it works. All right, and once again, of course, don't forget to create a new world for this as we have messed with the world generation. So let's see what we can find and let's actually see maybe we're lucky and we're immediately going to be greeted with our own custom biome here. Otherwise, we'll see. And here we are inside of the game. Let's do locate biome with the lava. Actually, let's do tutorial mods. There, there you go. Then you can find it. And it actually is in the game. That's actually really good. And there it is. Now what you will find, first of all, is that there are no redwood trees here because there is no ground where they can actually spawn on, which is actually a very good sign. It means that the trees are com like completely correctly implemented, so to speak. And you can also see, there you go, so this is the titanium blocks here. So that's the under material, basically. And they extend a few blocks here. And then the normal stone generation basically starts because this is just the well top level surface generation that we've defined here. And in this case, the biome is actually quite big and quite large. I highly recommend playing around with the numbers a little bit because that's always going to be the case that you will what you will need to do in order for you to basically make a biome exactly to the way that you want it. All right, but that would be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. So yeah, 